So, Coach, your first question will be front row to your left. Coach Dan Tortora, wake up call DT.com. Just looking back on your history, uh, Howard Schnellenberger, your, your head coach that you had when you were at Louisville, those words of wisdom, those moments of wisdom that you can take with you, do you ever reach back to anything in the toolbox that he gave you? Well, I was fortunate enough to play for Howard Schnellenberger. And, uh, you know, Coach Schnellenberger had a tremendous history and past of, you know, only, only undefeated Super Bowl team in Miami Dolphin history. Um, Took Miami to the national championship, uh, built programs at Louisville, Florida Atlantic. Uh, but really, when I played for him, um, you know, he was known as a quarterback guru, coached a lot of great quarterbacks at Alabama with Bear Bryant and uh, even at the Miami Dolphins. So uh, the thing that I took from him the most is he was a master motivator. You know, he got his teams to believe that they could beat anybody when they stepped on the field. Uh, he did it by with him saying, you know, outlandish things to the media, like we're on a collision course for the national championship, the only variable is time. But he wasn't scared to say those things. Uh, so because of it, his team believed that they could win. Uh, and while I may not be as braggadocious as that, uh, we want our team to take the field and expect to win every time they, they, they go out there. So we definitely learned a great deal from him. Uh, and he achieved a lot. And uh, even though he's not with us now, uh, you know, I, I'll never forget uh, all those moments. Coach, also front row, right side. Hey, Coach Brown, how are you doing today? Jalen Wilson, CFB Nation. Um, of course, you made it to the ACC Championship last year. Um, and I wanted to know what steps in practice and training camp has have you and your team taken this offseason to build on last season's success? Well, I think it's important that uh, you build a team that likes to compete, that loves football, that loves to work hard to win at a high level. So we want to provide that atmosphere and that environment for our guys that uh, they want to come over the building and put the work in and know that if you want to be great, you're going to have to work at it. And I think we got a group of guys that, that do that every day. Uh, while we had some good success last year and we're 10 and one at one point, we lost our last three games. So I think because of that, um, there's a lot of things to learn, uh, a lot of areas to improve. And I think it's caused the hunger to get back in us right away and understand that if you want to be really good, you got to beat uh, big time opponents and uh, you got to find a way to win close games. So, um, you know, these guys we have w here with us today and even our whole entire football team, they've worked hard. They have a great off season. Uh, they understand we have good challenges ahead of us this year. But, you know, this is a competitive league with a lot of parity and a lot of really good football players and coaches. And if you don't uh, expect and bring your A game and play uh, your very best, you're not going to win. Uh, so we uh, definitely accept that challenge, and we're looking forward to getting the season underway. And, and our guys have worked really hard to this point. Coach, from the podium in that response, you used the word great. What does accomplished greatness mean to you? Well, I think uh, accomplished greatness means uh, setting goals and working extremely hard to achieve those. And I think simply put, uh, you, you can't put a um, – a level to that. You've got to, you know, expect to to achieve all your dreams and not scared to, to take on that challenge. So, um, you know, uh, being great in this conference means, uh, you know, beating great opponents every week and raising your level of play and stepping up to the challenge. And, uh, you know, we definitely will have those challenges this year. Coach, back to Dan in the front row to your left. Coach, bringing in Tyler at quarterback, just what you can say, what you saw from him at Texas Tech, and just why he was the right fit for your offense as you step forward into 2024. Well, we're excited about Tyler and what he brings to the table. Um, you know, anytime you can bring in a veteran quarterback that's been there and done that, that's handled adversity, that's had up and ups and downs, that's been able to experience that, that's uh, had great success, but also a few failures along the way. Uh, and he's battle tested. Uh, you know, we're excited about it. Uh, to this point, he's come in and he's been a great leader. He's worked really hard. Uh, he's put in the work. He's, uh, you know, gained the respect of his teammates by working really hard with them and, and, and studying football with them uh, and arranging that and making sure that our other players are doing it as well. But, you know, he's come here with a purpose. He has one year to play college football uh, and he wants to go out with a bang. And I think that if we can, um, you know, play well around him and, and continue to improve our football team, he will definitely play at a high level. So we're excited about what he brings to the table and uh, we want him to uh, have the best year he possibly can. And it's up to us as coaches to put him in the best position to do that, but we're going to work really hard at it. Coach, to your right, far right, gentleman in the red shirt. 
Michael McCann, Cardinal Authority on 247 Sports. So you talk about Tyler and, and building around him. You brought in a, a nice wide receiver and Colin Lacey as well, a guy that can certainly make an impact. What impressed you about him during that recruiting process to think this is a guy that can really help us take another step? Well, Colin brings a ton of um, experience to the table. He's played a lot of football as well, uh, but he's strong, he's fast, uh, he's tough. Uh, he's made great strides even the little bit we've had him. He works really hard. So without question, getting the ball in his hands, making sure he has touches will be important for our success, uh, keeping him healthy. Uh, but he's done a really good job. And he's one of numerous guys that we've added to the mix uh, that have been very, um, uh, had very good off seasons that we expect to play well. Coach, to your left, third row, right in the middle. Cam Lemons, 24-7 Sports. Coach, you brought in a healthy amount of transfers both last year and this offseason. I know things in college sports are always evolving, but how do you kind of keep that balance with bringing in, you know, a healthy amount of players, whether that can help you right now or in the future from the portal as well as, you know, keeping the, same, the main thing the main thing when it comes to high school recruiting? Well, in general, um, you know, our philosophy is we want to win now and uh, we want to win this year. And, uh, yes, you can build for the future and, get your young players ready to play, which is great. But you want to win now. And uh, not only do our fans want that, but your, your own team wants that. So when it comes to building a roster, you know, we have some really good guys coming back that have done a great job for us. But you know what? I think they want to win. So it's up for us as coaches to build the best team uh, and surround them with the best teammates to help them win. Because football is a team sport. And it takes 11 guys on both sides of the ball and special teams to get it done. Uh, and it doesn't matter. Uh, strictly how good you are, but you got to have good guys around you. So we've tried to do that. We're not scared to change the roster. We're not scared to improve our football team, whether they're starters or they provide great competition, they play a role. But you know, everyone we brought in has been with a purpose uh, quite a bit. Sometimes they're older veteran guys that have played uh, at any level of football, but have definitely uh, stepped on the field and shown on video what they can do. And to this point, uh, we've liked what we've seen uh, all spring and all summer. And I think uh, all of our veterans on our team have liked what they've seen as well. And they know that if we continue to improve and, and work really hard and do the small things right, we're going to have a chance to win. So um, that's what we believe in. Yeah, sure, we're going to always take high school prospects and continue to, to do that as well. But um, you know, with this transfer portal and having two different portals, people can leave and go when they want. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some guys leave to to get more playing time. Other guys leave for other reasons. Uh, but you've got to be able to ad ad excuse me, adapt and adjust. And I think we've done a pretty good job of that. Coach, from the podium, as a follow-up to that, how do you instill culture almost immediately, given the number of transfers in and the freshman class every year? Well, I think uh, instilling culture is providing an atmosphere and an environment where your guys want to work hard at football. They feel comfortable coming over the building, putting in the work, putting in an extra work. They understand the importance of getting that done. We want to make sure our coaches are, are there for our players at any, any point in time during the day, whether it's early in the morning, late at night, uh, whenever they uh, want help to get better, we want to be there. And I just think if you want to be a great football team, a great player, you've got to put in the extra work. And, uh, you know, uh, in order to, to be great, in my opinion, you've got to do more when people aren't watching. Uh, and that's important that all of our guys and all of our coaches do that, that uh, you know, when you have free time and you have the ability to improve yourself, you, you, you got to do it. So I just think we, we try to do that. And uh, whether you've had a great day of practice or a great game, or maybe you struggle a little bit, we want to make sure the next day you can come over and do the same thing and you can get right back at it and work. Uh, but uh, you know we've got a great group of uh, coaches on our staff that are really good people that do things for the right reasons, in my opinion. But they're willing to help our players, uh, you know, work hard to achieve success. And our guys, we have a lot of guys on our team that really put a lot of extra time in. And uh, I think if the more guys you have doing that, uh, and the more they put into it, the better chance you're going to have to win. Next question to your right, third row, all the way at the end. Tyler Budge, CF Budge. Coach, this offseason I saw a clip of you from the XFL days resurface again. Do I or do I not have a pulse? Let's play football. How often do you see that clip resurface and has the locker room given you any flack for that one? Well, years ago, uh, it, it, you know, it got on the, the internet there and believe it or not, you just can't take it off. So it's always going to be there. Uh, that's back when life was really fun and I enjoyed playing the game. But um, 
In the end, it's about do you really love to play the game? And uh, I think that uh, our players do. I think they know I love competing and while I can't play anymore, I, I, I love coaching and trying to help our team win. Uh, but you also want to make the game fun for them. Uh, so that was a day when the game was fun and uh, you could talk a little bit more than you probably should. But uh, you had a little fun with it. But our players have fun too. We want our guys to all of them, they all have different personalities, different makeups, but we want them to, to play with that personality. And in order to, to, to play at a high level of football, you've got to um, be competitive on the game field. And if that means you've got to talk a little bit more so than others, that's fine. If that means you're quiet and you're a competitor that way, that's fine too. But uh, it is a physical, tough, demanding sport that you've got to allow your players uh, to take on the persona that they need in order to, to play at a high level. Coach, stay there. Just over his right shoulder, gentleman in the black shirt. Matt McGavick, Louisville Cardinals on Sports Illustrated. Jeff, both this offseason and last offseason, you guys placed a really heavy emphasis on the transfer portal. And for this upcoming season, how crucial would you say it is to show people that placing a heavy reliance on the portal as a means to build up your team is something that can be year after year relied upon and that last year's success wasn't just an outlier? Well, I don't think we set a number on, hey, we need to bring in this many transfer portal young men and add them to our team. I think every year is just going to be different and every year is going to be unique. And, you know, you can't really predict it now. It's just it's a different time and a different uh, era uh, where rosters are going to change. So if one year a roster didn't change much, I'm fine with that uh, if that works. But sometimes it just doesn't fit. So in order to, to be prepared, I think you just have to prepare to have answers so when, when things come about, you can improve your football team. So, you know, if, if a lot of guys didn't leave, then we wouldn't bring as many guys in. But if we have graduate, or excuse me, uh, guys that graduate and others that want to transfer, you've got to be ready to improve your team. And then you've also got to be ready to just analyze your roster every year. And if you think you need uh, some improvement here and there, you've got to go out and find a way to get it done. And I just think that's what's uh, the best players on your team are going to want. They're going to want you to find the best teammates for them that are going to help them play at a high level and win. And, uh, and that's all we've tried to do. And I think we've done a pretty decent job at this point. But obviously, you got to go prove it every year. But um, just like everyone at this time of year, we, we think we've prepared really hard and really well. And uh, we'll think we'll have a chance. Coach, thank you for your time. You can.